What in God's name is happening here? These people are news people. They said they want to talk to you, sir. Are you a teacher here, sir? May we know what really happened, sir? Is your principal really the supreme mother of the dear mother court, sir? Are there male members in the cult group, sir, also? And are you one of them, sir? Enough! Now listen, I don't have any information to dish out to you now. Let's allow the police do their duty. Good day. Sir, does that make you an accomplice to the crime, sir? Now listen, all of you. I will appreciate it you leave this property or I call the police on you. And you, if it means using force on anyone who dares to break into this gate, use it. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Excuse me, 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 sir. Excuse Puma. Yes, no. this guy, they, they run too big for us. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. Right? But you, your father, get money. See your own. Yeah. 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 I'm very yes. able. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish to be rich like you. Inshallah. Inshallah. One that shall never end. No wonder these girls don't allow us to come near them. You guys know I've been trying to woo Becky and Remy. But none of them agreed for me. My friend, I agree with you. Yes. I have tried all my best to get close to me, ma'am. But her pride wouldn't allow her. So I thought, but now we know better. Huh. Even Becky, Eka, and Janet. My God. You know, if it was me, ma, Tasha, and Remy, I wouldn't be so surprised. But Becky, Eka, and Janet, those girls, they don't look it. <laughs> Ray, my friend, come like on, Buddha You see, looks, they say, is deceptive. Pretenders always do the worst. All right. Teacher Jelly, the principal, and even, wait, Desmond. Are you sure your school son Natania has not put small salt and sugar in this story to make it sweet? How do you mean? Come to think of it, how will um, Mirabel's mother take her own daughter's life? This story doesn't add up to me. Ada, Mira's best friend, who was also initiated into that so-called dear mother, whatever, she also indicted her own mother. How could she have made all that up? Wallahi, I believe everything they said about those idiots. They should be jailed. I bet you there is more to come. Sako you always see. Yes. All right. All right. All right. That you're, you're still a big man. Back to our topic. You're eating <laughs> politicians' money. Kaberi Abu. Abu Kina. Kaberi Abu. Show us the way. Let me buy shoe. What's that for? That bell only rings that way when there's an emergency. What other emergency could be more important than what just happened? Oh. Guys, Jeez. guys, it has happened. What? What happened? The detectives came to see Mr. Musa, their for admin. I was there. So? We are authorized to seal your school until further notice. What? Yes, and that starts now. How? The students, they are preparing for their junior YAC exams. And it's just a few weeks from, from today. It seems you don't know the gravity of the offense and allegations being laid against the number one citizen of this school. Her crony, teacher Jelly, and the so-called female senior students in this school. Such an act is enough for them to be lined up for a firing squad for immediate execution. But you see that allegation, and no one is convicted yet. Why shut down the school then? We are not here to bandy words with you, Mr. Musa. We are carrying out orders from our bosses, and the order says shut down the school indefinitely until further notice. 
while we carry out further investigations into the matter. Detective Ann and our team of armed squad are stationed outside your school gates. They are ready for action and are fighting to keep at bay some reporters agitating to milk some information from you and the students. So, will you shut it down or do we use force? But, detective, as you can see, the school is undergoing some renovations. I said shut it down, Mr. Boy! Now! Richard, get me the big school bell from my office. What? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, they can't do that to us now. Try the bell or this rank now. No, no. Look, our junior wayek is around the corner. And even the senior wayek too. Look, if things um, continue like this, I think we we'll have to come from our home to sit for the exam. You get me? So I think uh, everyone is going to the assembly ground. Let's go before they see us inside the school. So we have to vacate our dormitory. Guy, the dormitory is part of the school. Let's go. We have your details. So we'll be inviting you guys to the station soon to hear your own side of the story. So now go pack your things and wait for your parents to come pick you. said I should pull over. So, what's up? Um, I needed to get some drugs from the pharmacy over there. Drugs? Again? Are you sure you're okay? Uh, of course. I'm okay. I'll be right back. You heard what I said? Keep a low profile. No one should know about your movements. Yes, Most importantly, no one should know about what happened. Keep your lips sealed. Yes, senior. Just keep it to yourself. Just you and I. Understood? Yes, senior. Now go. We'll keep in touch. Right. She's been sleeping all day. Day two. So much for her young shoulders to carry, I guess. <coughs> Ada? Are you okay? Um, we, we didn't want to wake you up, but since you're awake now, we wanted to know if you have anyone here in town you can put up with for the time being, because your mother has been in our custody since yesterday. Do you have anyone? This name and address. Hmm? 
Donald Trump. I beg your pardon? Donald who? Donald Trump now. He's the only one I have. Are you, are you alright? I'm alright. I said Donald Trump is my ex-boyfriend. Please, can you take me to him? I miss him so much. Please, I miss him so much. Take me to him. Maybe she's sleep talking. <laughs> sleep talking? Stop that. Me sleep talking. Ada. That's an insult to my personality. See, I can see you people very well. Oh. <laughs> Are you not when with me? The famous X Man U player. Huh. And you? Are you not Patience Jonathan? Wife of the ex president. Good luck, Jonathan. <laughs> you see? I can recognize you very well. You are shocked. Forget that saying. I know you people very well. Do we stay in the same house? Oh, well, you're running maids. You're supposed to look out for each other. Yes. Hello? By strapping you both to my back wherever I go, right? Running maids. Kill the both of you, dear. As far as I am concerned, I do not care whatever they have said. I will do whatever pleases me. Shh. I know the way to my parents' house, and that is where I am headed. Asoko Rabuja. School has closed. So you guys should go home. And whatever I left in the dormitory, my elder sister and my mom can afford it 10,000 times. So suit yourself. Chuma! Chuma! You people are calling me a mad person, Abby. You are calling me a mad person, right? I will show you what madness is today. Leave me! Rascals! Lunatics! <laughs> She was fine and sound a moment ago. Now this? What could be the problem? DID. What? DID simply means Dissociative Identity Disorder, which has a personal disorder and a multiple disorder, characterized by two or more personal distinct personalities. Fine, it also has a unique name, personal history and characteristics. Please speak in plain terms. It's an anomaly where a patient sees him or herself in distinct personalities, doing things differently, having new friends. Well, all these are caused by loss of memories, loss of connections and all. In other words, whatever she does in the state is unreal, abstract or non-existent. Exactly. Sometimes she sees herself in different places like US, Canada, Italy and all. Having meetings with the president, but all these are not real, they are all fallacies. What do you think? What do I think? Really? Didn't you hear the doctor in there? 
Ada may have taken us on a roller coaster, La La Land experience from her mental topsy turvy them. Everything she may have told us during her confession could be false. Dreamland experience. In plain terms, the girl is raving mad. This is this is getting really confusing. Wait a minute. He said something that struck me. Mostly inherent. This sickness could be managed, but definitely not cured. It could also last a lifetime if not well managed. We can as well help her through shock. But her case is different. This sickness has been lying deep asleep inside of her. Who knows what must have triggered it? Something like what? Shock, root shock, or bang on her head. Something must have triggered it. So? What must have triggered that relapse? Could it be the death of her friend that triggered it? I don't think so. You know, this, this is getting really, really confusing. I think I need a drink. Are you coming? I think we should rather pay a visit to someone. Who? Oh. mind, her medical history, everything. How often does that happen to her? Madam, you need to answer the question. In order to soften the allegation leveled against you by your own daughter. You need to talk! Don't you ever raise your voice at me, you rascal. How dare you? It seems you don't know what you've gotten yourself into. Answer the question. And if I don't? Is it now you want vital information from me after disgracing yourself and not me? Madam, I implore you to speak in order to help everyone with this situation. Well, I am not aware of such ailments. There has not been any record of such with my daughter or anyone in my family. But since according to the doctor, it's inherent and lying asleep, something must have actually triggered it, which definitely wasn't from me. So where might it come from? You two have some explanations to give. That will be all for now. Corporal. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. What now? We need to see some people. You've known her for three years now. Have you ever seen her behave in such a weird way before? Well, Ada could be funny sometimes. You know, I've, I've noticed that she had this kind of deep fear within her. And then every time she tries to express herself, she can go on talking for a long time. And then when she doesn't want to talk, she, she can don't talk for a, for a period of three days. Is she mad? I don't think she is. I can vouch for her on that. You can go. Well, thank you. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Does your friend usually or occasionally display symptoms of what we earlier discussed? And if she... And I said I don't know what you're talking about. If you don't mind, can I go in now? Because mom and I are going out. That's okay. Sorry we took your time. We'll be on our way now. Please just leave. Leave! Rubbish. It can't just all be fallacy. I mean the impudence of the senior girls in the school. The confession by Ada. The reactions of the principal and Jelly, the NGO mentioned. Everything seems so real. How it all could be manufactured from a mental malfunctioning is baffling and puzzling to me. The NGO, hold on. We need to pay the NGO visit as well as the orphanage. Tonight, Kai, chill off, calm down, calm down, we go again tomorrow. Ah, besides, you reek of alcohol, you can't go and investigate someone like this. Calm down. Ada's mother, Kai, no, no, no. Ada's mother is just causing confusion everywhere. Okay, nobody saw you. No one, school father. Ready? Yes, he said we can come now and that everything is ready. All right, good. Are you guys ready for this? Yes, yes, sir. Oh, no. Ma, hmm? that's the place. So, you guys are really serious about this? We are here already now. Shall we? So, about that, Ma. Okay, lead the way. Surprised to meet you today. Duty calls. I'm um, just a quick one. Okay. Was there any trace of a hard substance found in Ada's system? 
Why do you ask? Because you said such could trigger off the reaction of the ailment she suffers. Yes, of course. Good. There was no reaction after the party she allegedly attended at her principal's place. Then all of a sudden, she goes basic. Something must have happened. Was there a trace of any substance in her system? If yes, what sort? Mm. Well, then I have to go carry out the test. But maybe when I return, I have a serious emergency to attend. So it's all about life and death. Uh, this is also an emergency, Dr. Mayer. A life is already lost. Mirrors. And one is hanging in the balance in the air. I'm afraid there are many lives that may follow because this is just the beginning. This mm. is more important. Then you have to give me some time to run the test and bring out the results. Fine. All right. Yeah. But do you mind? No, no, don't bother. We are packed right. outside, so we have all the. Okay, just in the gym. If the drugs don't cause it, then how does she ingest it? Definitely, the initiation wasn't yesterday. It was three days ago when she came to us with her confession. And the initiation must have happened days, weeks, or even months before then. It's just a hunch. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's wait and see. Yeah. Negative. It wasn't drugs. It was shock. Someone must have shocked her or put fear in her that must have triggered it. We interrogated her mother and her classmates, and their story differed from her findings. Her mother claimed ignorance to certain ailments. Where are we getting it mixed up? <laughs> are you saying I manufactured the ailments firstly detected? <laughs> no. I'm a bit confused here. I mean, how can the mother build her daughter from birth till now and not be aware of this ailment? Well, that I wouldn't know. I don't live with them in their house. Please, may I go? Sure. Won't bother you again. I think, I think Ada's mom is hiding something. Likewise, Dr. Mia. How so? It's just a hunch. Hello? Yes? Detective Jake speaking. What? How? When? I am coming over right away. What is it? I just got a call from the mortuary. Mira's corpse is missing. What? How? We are going there immediately to find out. Oh God, babe. Oh God, babe. Madam. Every day, oh God, babe. Me, I don't know what's happening. See, I swear with my grandfather's grave. Me, I don't know what's happening for damage to mortuary. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. I don't know. You were on duty night and day. For three days since we brought in the cops of that school girl, and you still don't know how the cop got missing. See, you better start talking, else you will get yourself into a lot of trouble. Madam, I swear with the 
whatever you say, madam. I don't know what it happened. I don't feel like okay. Help me. I don't feel like for you. Now police station again like this. I don't feel like. I don't feel. It. I don't know. I don't know what it happened. I don't know. Were you sleeping or something? Uh, every every day for night by 10 p.m. Like this, me and they lock up every day. And even if they bring their body, as they finish dressing, they go. Me, I go lock up everywhere. Go find my corner, sleep. You know, say plenty things they happen for this match at the own, I know they know. For nights, the body feel rise or go party. Some they fly, some they do other things. Maybe the dead body fly come out or it disappear. I don't know what happened. Mr. Mortuary. Sir? We will soon know by the time we are done with you. Ah. Officer! Sir! Walk him walk immediately. Yes, sir. I mean, I don't know anything. No, I, I should think see you know you carry that thing for Jiggo. I don't know now. Where you carry you go now before you come out of the lady for you? Stand up on the go! Okay. Uh, I'm done. I don't know what you are. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Harass me. I don't know. Ah. This is getting more complicated than I imagined. What now? How she made that? Still in shock. I haven't heard anything from her. But um, will she ever speak? <sighs> Miracle. True miracle, she will. So, inshallah, let them be king. No records. No records. Records on what? When the learners. No records of her primary, secondary school, and university she attended. How? It was deleted off Google just today. By who? Who else but her? I was trying to check and find out who her secondary school classmates and close friends were at least. So I can trace if any one of them belong to maybe the trustee of the NGO or something. Why? <laughs> Come on, Detective Arnie. It's so simple to decipher. If they are second school classmates and friends, chances are that they must have been initiated into this so called um, their mother cult or whatever as running mates. That would have been a very smart move. Smart move for her to have erased all the information from Google. Why not check the trustee and see if it's linked to her or something? I have tried that and nothing came up. I've tried to match their pictures, yet everything is showing similarity of details from Caribbean countries and so forth. Well, I guess that should be all for today. We'll go again tomorrow. Remember, we have a missing corpse to find. Don't go on. I'll see you on the way too. We'll meet tomorrow morning. All right. Good night. Good night. Hello, officer, meet me in my office immediately. I have a job for you. Good. This is where I leave you guys to eat again tonight. I gave her some pounds of blood. She bled dry. Believe me when I say it's a miracle. She
she will still be alive. Good night. Good night. Good night. Um, one more thing. You need to be more discreet about your coming here. Remember, you're up against a very smart detective, Jake. He might trail you guys. Good night. Good night, night sir. No, I brought you food. Evil. Please, can I feed you? Eva, can I feed Tonight? Ah, I mean, it's late already now. Can't we leave it tomorrow? Okay, it's fine. Send me the address. Send me the address. Yes, me. Please sit. What do you care for? Whiskey, brandy, champagne. Anyways, I just got in here. I'm fine. Can we go straight to why you called me out? But you should know why we are here. I don't know. So you tell me. <sighs> Heavy dose of benzodiazepam and anticholinergic drugs was what I found out in Ada's system. When the test was conducted, I figured out that that was what triggers the DID Ada has. It will lead to retrograde amnesia, where she will never remember anything she has sees or done when she wakes up. It is only a pharmacist who understands the fraternal relationship that will only release those doses and administer it to her. So, why are you telling me this now? I was about coming out to meet with you and your colleagues to bring out the original results. A call came in. I figured out that that was a lady's voice. She said she's the senator. She wired 10 million naira into my account. She warned me seriously never to give her the original results. I don't know why she did that. And I'm still thinking how she get to find out about all this. So how do I come in in all of this? Do you think I called you? She made mention of your name, saying you understand why she called. Understand what exactly? I don't know. Maybe you tell me. <laughs> Uh, I think I need this drink now. <laughs> Hello? Sir, I have the picture of Dr. Maya and Anne. Good job. Send them to my phone immediately. And please remember, this is between you and I. Hope you know that. All right, sir. Yes, sir. All right. <sighs> Dr. Mayer. Wow. <sighs> Dr. 
Dr. Mir. Dr. Mayer owns the mortuary. I said it. I said it. Seniors, something tells me we should take Mira out of that place. So. Why? It won't take long before somebody finds out. Let's Ma take her to where nobody knows. Well, why? 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 Paro? I don't know, but going by what Dr. Mayer said, it won't take long before Detective Jake and Co. finds out. But she is not yet strong. What if Dr. Meyer needs to give her some treatment? Go back and say, Niba. Go back, go back. That's the point. But but to me, she's strong, though. To me, she's strong. She's just in shock, that's all. See, let's just go. Tomorrow, we'll come back and move her. Don't worry, have to be fine. Doc, she can now. Let's go. Tomorrow, let's go. Jake, you sounded so urgent. Something interesting came up last night. We need to visit Dr. Mayer right now. Dr. Mayer? What happened? I'll explain to you on the way. Dr. Mayer. Uh, detectives. So what do I owe these August visits? I am afraid you have to come with us to the station to answer some questions concerning the missing corpse of Mira and for lying to us. Lying to you? On what? You know when you come to the station. Please, follow us. Are you saying I'm under arrest? No. Okay, well, I'll use um, my... That won't be necessary. Please come with us. All right. Do you deny that you own the mortuary where Mira's corpse was deposited, which is now missing? I don't deny it one bit. So you know about the missing corpse? That I own a mortuary doesn't mean I should be at the mortuary door day and night. Their hands that watch over it. So, you don't know about the missing corpse of a said Mirabel Douglas? You're just telling me this now. I'm not always there, and perhaps it's about three kilometers from the hospital to the mortuary. There are people paid to do those things. You should be asking them those questions, not me. So, where did you go last night? Pardon. The lonely house at the outskirts of Dusi Al Haji. What do you always go there to do at night? How did you know about this? I followed you last night.
seniors. Something tells me we should take Mira out of that place. So. Why? It shouldn't take long before somebody finds out. Let's Mi take her to where nobody knows. Well, why, 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 Paro? I don't know, but going by what Dr. Meyer said, it will take long before Detective Jake and Co. finds out. But she is not yet strong. What if Dr. Meyer needs to give her some treatment? Go back and say, Niba. Go back and say, Niba. That's the point. But but to me, she's strong, bro. To me, she's strong. She's just in shock, that's all. See, let's just go. Tomorrow, we come back and move her. Don't worry, have to move her. So, she can now. Let's go. So, what did you keep in there, Dr. Mia? Something personal. Is Mira Cops that something personal? I am afraid you have to go and show us what you're hiding in there. Shall we? Get it off. Now open the door. I said open the damn door. Do you want me to use force on you? Listen, if you know there's nothing illegal here, open this door for crying out loud. What is wrong with you? Open it now! The key is in my right pocket. <laughs> What is this place? It's a place where I carry out all my medical research. I experiment rodents, snakes, living things. And corpses as well? Did you see any here? How is your little nephew, Nathaniel, doing? Nathaniel? Uh, 
uh, I'm sure you know I'm talking about one Nathaniel James, classmate to the disease mirror. I dug really deeper last night and found out you are his father's younger brother. Small world, isn't it? Does Nathaniel also come here for medical experiment too? We'll keep in touch if something comes up. So, I want you to know that you owe us one real explanation about that medical test result. My regards to my friends Nathaniel and his cool father Desmond. <laughs> Did you do it? Do what? Did you move Mira from the local house? No. Is she no longer there? Jake and Annie found out and brought me here. But when we got here, we met nobody. How? But we were there last night and thinking about moving her tonight. And there's no way she could have run because she's still weak. Who then did? Honestly, I don't know. Um, where are you? Still at the local house. Should we come and, um... No, I think he suspects you come here as well. In fact, he showed me here last night and I guess you guys were still inside then. Oh! I see. So he was the one who was trying to open the door last night. Look, Nat, I have played my part for you. When my attention was drawn to the mortuary by the attendant on duty, the day Mira was brought in here saying they felt a pause. I called you immediately and you begged me to keep it a secret and see how to revive her. I put my profession in line to do this because you are same blood. And because you told me it will help you unravel things about her supposed killer. However, things are getting out of hand. I have received so many calls from strange persons, even from someone who claims to be a senator. On same case, so dear nephew, we never talked about this. Be careful. Be very, very careful. Okay. What happened? Mira is missing. Detectives were there, just my uncle, and she wasn't there. But who then moved her? Oh no, 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 no! I just hope not. Get into the car. Umar, just tell me the truth. Did you move her away? Why, yo, Allah? When you're eating Magana and one none. Desmond, what kind of question is this? Well, lie, I did not do it. I mean, what do I gain to stand in the disappearance of Mira? Keski, I did not do it. It was just the four of us. Excluding Uncle Mayor, that knew the fact that Mira was still alive. And hidden there. How then did she disappear? Okay. Am I nearing you now? That Mira of a girl. Maybe she just disappeared, Va. Yes. But seriously, Desmond, you know me. You know I cannot do anything. I can't do something behind you. Keskia, I cannot. And you? Did you tell anyone else that she was still alive? No. Okay, okay, okay. When I hear him again, he's a bunny damn This is really strange. What are you saying, Nats? Mira is dead and gone. See, 
It's exactly the way I told you guys. That's just it. But Nat, you're not a good friend. So you knew all along that Mira was alive. Yet you followed us to the detective's office to report the case with Ada, claiming ignorance. Mezie, I didn't know then. Look, it was when we left the station, that's when my uncle called and told me she still had some pulse. And I decided to tell him to keep it a secret until we unravel this whole mystery about Mira's death and their mother club. Guy, you didn't bother telling us your friends. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Until she was declared missing again. Exactly. Okay. Now, what do you want us to do? This whole thing just looks like tales by moonlight. Please. Me, I am going home. Choma, wait. See, we need to pull heads together and look for a way we can find her. Find, find who? who? Did they find Ghost? She's alive. <laughs> Says you. As far as I'm concerned, Mira is dead and gone. And I heard her dad is in the hospital lying in coma. Our circle is broken. I don't want to be part of anything. Okay? Who knows who is next? Please, I am going home. Nathaniel, you disappointed us all. Let me be. Which? Which? Jake, you and I were assigned to the police, and you carried out an investigation without letting me in. You trained Dr. Mayer without letting me in. This is my case. You're just assisting me. Assisting? You call my efforts and all my imputes a mere just? You told me you wanted to stay and work, not knowing you wanted to trade Dr. Mayer. I actually trained Dr. Mayer when you went for dinner and met up with you at the office. However, I said I was going to stay behind so I could trail you. Trail me? Yes. I noticed the way you panicked when I asked Dr. Mayer to run the drug test. And when he was about announcing the result, you panicked even more. So I suspected something and followed you last night. We'll meet here tomorrow morning. All right. Good night. Good night. Hello, officer, meet me in my office immediately. I have a job for you. Good. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Oh, you. Tonight? I mean, it's late already now. Can't we leave it tomorrow? Okay, it's fine. Send me the address. Send me the address. I have the picture of Dr. Maya and Anne. Good job. Send them to my phone immediately. Definitely, sir. And please remember, this is between you and I. Hope you know that. 
All right, sir. Yes, sir. All right. You did what? You sent a junior officer to run intel on me? I had to. I was becoming suspicious of your every move. Firstly, you brought a bottle of water and gave to her dad that was never in the fridge in the office. And when Ada drank that bottle of water, she sneezed and after sneezing, she was never herself again. Secondly, you made sure you personally bought her food. And whenever she eats that food, she sleeps off. Just like the day we arrested the principal on coal. You stopped by the pharmacy to get some drugs. The question is, what drugs were you buying? So I did something. I also excavated remnants of the food you got for her. I took them to the medical laboratory. A test was run. And the test results showed that huge dose of benzodiazepine and anticholinergic drugs were in that food and other hard substances capable of triggering retrograde amnesia. That was why I charged Dr. Mayer for lying and deceiving us. I never asked for your assistance. You showed up from nowhere and said you were assigned to assist me. Who are you, Annie? Who are you working for? On whose side are you? <laughs> you better start talking now, else I get you arrested. Nice speech. Maybe you should be heading to the appropriate quarters, like NAPDAC and SON, to report a case of negligence and food contamination. Instead of blabbing here, it was in your presence that I opened that water. And it was in your presence that I bought that food. So what are you saying? On the issue of the pharmacy, remember the other day I told you I, I, I have an issue of high blood pressure? That was when we went to get um, the medications for the treatment. And lastly, the chief in command personally assigned me to this case in order to put an eye on you because you know how sometimes you can go out of line. Speak of the devil. Hello? Chief, sir. Yes, sir. I am. Um, we are in the office. Yes, sir. We are still on the case. Oh, no. We are. No, sir. S but, sir, we are still on the case. No, I'm not trying to argue with you, sir. What? Noted, sir. What is it? The boss said we should release the principal, her students and everyone connected to the case. Just like that. has just been dismissed. How true is that, sir? Yes, yeah, she's back in school. Is it true? So she's really the supreme mother of the dear mother court. Why the sudden release of this? Any comment on this, sir? Sir? Any comment, sir? A teacher, a student, somebody, anybody. Speak first to the principal, sir. 
Please respond comment, to us. Sir. Respond please to us. Please respond to us. Please say something, sir. Dear mother girls. Um, wait. Nobody knows her whereabouts yet. Nobody. You mean the charges against the principal and the girls have been dropped? Hey no. Can't you see them? It's all over the airwaves. Don't you listen to news? What news? Is there any good news out of this country? Well, lie if it is not banditry. It is the EFCC following politicians for stealing billions of dollars. Politicians like your father, right? <laughs> How about Ben? This is a very serious matter here. And we need to be serious. <sighs> Miriam would have been the right person to tell us what really happened to her. So that settled a lot of scores. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, that was why I begged my uncle to keep her alive and healthy. Now, Mira is missing and Ada is in another world in the hospital. There will always be a way. Go to your class. But keep your head down. I'm sure they must have marked your face. See? But don't worry, we've got your back. Don't worry, you can go. Wallahi, we will fight them. We will fight them. Anyhow they want it. Power for power. Authority for authority. Position with position. Connection with connection. Are they the only ones that have connection? We will let them know that we too have people in position of authority. Yes. Banza yes. Kowal. So guys, like, so nobody knows where she is to now. Nobody knows. Oh, wow. Wonder she'll never end. Good. Guys. What's happening now? Are we no longer friends? Friend that keeps secrets from friends is no friend of mine. Oh, yes. She'd have told us long ago. Is the press. Send the messages. Supreme Mother. Worthy daughter, you have made this house proud. You have played the game so well. Well done. I will only allow you access to any of my students on one condition. Which is? That teacher Jelly here must be around during the termination. That is if I'm indisposed. But Ma, that is against the ethics and profession of our... Don't deal. Good. So who do you say you want to speak to? We would like to see her there now, but just leave the rest. Jelly? Yes, Ma. Fetch her. Um, I'll go with her.
running mate. I hope you know why you are assigned to this case. Of course. And I am doing my job perfectly well. But by the time I am done with that little rat, Jake, he will regret taking up this case. And Ada, I had it on good authority that she has told a few of her classmates about the Dear Mother Club. And they are planning to go to the police. I hope you know what to do when the eventually comes to you. Sure. Her mother already reported the medical case. And I will do the needful with the drugs that will trigger the DID. I will stop by a nearby pharmacy and get the drugs. I will inject it into her water and food. By the time she wakes up, she wouldn't be able to remember anything she said. And the doctor's report would corroborate the fact that whatever she must have said is unrealistic. By that time, nobody will believe anything she have said. All eyes will be against her. Good. Now let's pretend to go look for her. Your job is half done. We are aware that Detective Jeff is trailing you. But you have to complete what you have started, dear daughter of this great house. Jake has touched the tail of the tiger. So he must be ready to dance with the tiger. Tonight, there will be a meeting with the ruling class. And you must be there. Yes, Supreme Mother. Hello, Mira, my dear friend. I will nurse you back to life. And we shall take what they have taken away from us. I know you'll be willing when the time comes. Sure. Sure, Ma. She's finally awake. Let's the game begin. Okay. 